Today's special story is A Squash and a Squeeze by Julia Donaldson. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Do you think her house is a squash and a squeeze? Look, it's just her. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen, what a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. Oh no, what a disaster! The little old lady cried, What shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose is a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Look, there's the broken jug on the floor. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. He's eating everything. The little old lady cried, Glory be, it was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Look, the hen's pecking the goat. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in her pig who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. So she's got the goat who's eating all her furniture and the pig who's eating all her food. The little old lady cried, Stop, I implore, it was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. A tap dancing cow. The little old lady cried, Heaven's alive! It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out and I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better. At last I could sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle-dee-dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle-dee-dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. And look, all the animals are all grumpy because they've been put back outside. I think my favourite part of that story is when the cow jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. Because I've never seen a tap-dancing cow, but that sounds pretty cool.